Hello. It's been a while, I know, but I've been back at work, so I've had to uh, focus on that, which has been fun. So today we're out in Greyfield Wood, uh, which is a place called High Littleton. Very nice little woodland area with, there's a waterfall, which you can probably hear the noise in the background, and nice river. And today I'm gonna be playing with my balls. Got a lens ball, uh, I'm gonna put it in the water and do some cool shots of that. So let's do that. Hello everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Firstly, let me just have a whinge. These boots are supposed to be waterproof. I mean, it's safe to say they're not. So uh, now I'm gonna take a picture. So what I'm gonna do is there it is a little kind of bit of waterfall-y thing there. I'm gonna put the lens ball in it and uh, try and get some cool shots with it. Now, whoa, I've gone for a fairly abstract composition. Now I've got the, the ball. So I've dipped my balls in the water uh, and I basically have zoomed in on it. So there we go, that's kind of it. I've zoomed in as much as I can on this lens, but so we've got the ball, the ball there, and then there's some nice swishing water. Right, I've moved the ball. I've put it on a little rock just to kind of separate it. Hopefully it will look nice. Um, although I might have to shift around a little bit, um, but we'll see. Sorry, some people arrived and uh, I'm not that good at talking to the camera when there's people around. So, um, and excuse me, I'm just about to walk across the river. So, I mean, my feet are already wet, so I don't really care, but it's just a bit precarious. Um, so what I've done is I've turned myself around and I've put the ball, I've put my balls away, finally. Um, and I'm looking back towards the waterfall, which I'll show you. So let's put you down here. So what I've done, as I'm aiming low, focusing on the waterfall, and I've got a two second exposure with my, I believe it's a four stop ND, possibly, might be wrong, not labeled, I wouldn't know. And a F13, one, two second timer. One, two. Nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower my camera down a bit as much as I can lower it with this tripod. Now with this, I'm going bang central in the frame I've got the ND filter still on it from the photo I took a second ago of this thing. And uh, I'm gonna get some swooshiness around it, hopefully. So let's set that up. So we focus, zoom in, magnify probably 10 times, then focus, set manually um, to make sure we get a nice crisp image. Two second time to reduce camera shake because I brought, forgot my clicker. Ooh, we've got a bit of light as well in the background.
That's quite nice. It would be nice if we had a bit of light on the actual lens ball itself. But, I mean, it is what it is. But I have just seen around the corner, there's a little bit of light that peeps out on the trees from the, um, near where I was a minute ago. So I'm just gonna whip around and have a look and see, because, I mean, take another one. Because this is nice and all, but it would be nice if I could maybe get some light shining on it, some nice reflections. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I think if I clear some of the sticks away, we might get some nice light on it. Um, it's not that fast to water here, but maybe if I clear some rocks around, it might make some. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just gonna time-lapse me doing that. So you bear with. So I think here would be a nice place for the ball. Although, whilst the ball's there, I'm gonna get a picture of the waterfall. So I think, picture that way, first of the ball with the waterfall, and then the sun's not gonna move that quickly, so I'll get a picture of the ball right there. That'd be quite nice. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set you up again, and I'll talk you through the picture. Let's do that. So what I've got, is my camera low in the water. I have the ball focused on the ball and the waterfall in the background. And then let's take the photograph. Two second timer. Same setting as last time. That's actually quite nice. I like that. Um, I put it on the screen and you can see it. quite interesting. However, I'm going to try something and hopefully this will work. I'm going to move a rock and then uh, take the picture again. Right, rock has been moved. Let's just take this shot again, shall we? Yeah, that's nicer. And we take the image. Now that's nice. I like that. Nice smooth lines of the water in the background. Smooth water with the ball in the, the lower third. Nice, nice image. Now, I'm going to try that other one with some light on the ball. So the light's just gone behind a cloud, but well, that's kind of good because that allows me time to set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you over here. I say you, I mean, I mean like the camera, but I'm going to put the camera over here. I'm going to use my 50 on this one. See the lights come out. Woo. Right, let's go get the ball and I'll put the 50 on it because that might be quite nice. Let's get some bokeh if I can stick it at a low um, aperture. Get it nice. Well, I mean a high aperture. I mean a high aperture. I think the ball in the middle of this little water path here. You can't see it, but I'm going to stick the 50 on, and we'll go from there. Then head off. Call blimey, this dusty. Didn't bring the blower. It's not going to be the best. <laughs> I mean, you probably shouldn't use your breath. Top tip everybody, don't use your breath to clear dust off your lens. Luckily I have an uh, UV filter so it won't damage anything, but you shouldn't. Because then you get it all wet at the front and you get condensation. Right. So what I'm going to have to do with this, I'm going to have a much faster shutter speed. Because otherwise, at f1.8, it's not going to be the same. In fact, I'm going to go handheld, everybody. He can go there, because then I can get closer in. 
Auto focus. That's quite cool. It gets a weird like bubble effect. So I think this area has been done now. Um, I have got wet feet and my tripod is, legs are probably covered in, well, they're covered in water and silt probably by now. So uh, let's go and have a walk and try and see if we can take some pictures, maybe of some bluebells, because there's some bluebells around here. Now this is something that really annoys me. If you're coming into the countryside and you leave stuff behind like this water bottle, you really don't deserve to be out in the countryside. Just take it with you. It's not that difficult. You brought it with you. Just take it back with you. It's just not, just not cricket. I don't like it. So I'm going to take it back and put it in a bin. Now, although this place is very beautiful, I kind of feel like it's very samey. A lot of the pictures I've taken recently have been in essentially woodland, managed woods. So I'm gonna walk back to the car. So thank you for watching. So don't forget, like, subscribe. If you like the video, leave a little comment down below. I really appreciate it. I was really and I will try to respond to every single comment that is left. And don't forget, the images will be posted on my Instagram and uh, you can have a little look at them. And there's loads of other images on there. So if you like my content, like, subscribe and uh, follow my Instagram or in the description below. Thank you very much. See you soon.